Okay, so I just wanted to record and let you guys know where I'm at on the project. So we got a wheel up in the air here, it's a bicycle wheel. We pan back here. So we just attached um, some angle iron, wide enough to keep the wheel apart, you know, for the space for the wheel. And yep, that's a squat rack. Just using that as a temporary mounting. Okay. And um, this wheel that you're seeing here in this video, it's not going to be the final wheel. This is just a test. It's a 27 inch wheel with a 114 tooth sprocket on there. And, uh, you know, this is just going to be doing some tests and run some voltage tests and, uh, <clears throat> and some RPM tests. So, you know, this sprocket that you're seeing there is eventually going to go down. And we're going to change that little sprocket there on the gearbox, right? And I don't have the escapement mechanism hooked up here yet. That's going to come later. I'm going to watch my other video before this one. You'll see the wheel design. That's going to be a much larger wheel than this. It's uh, probably six or seven foot diameter wheel. So this is just to get me going to do some um, preliminary tests for uh, total wattage. Um, some lighter weights. Um, so I'm just going to use some weight that I have from, from my workout stuff. 45 pounders, 35 pounders. Uh, it might just be a couple hundred pounds. Not really so. This probably isn't going to hold more than two or three hundred pounds max. But uh, so you know, there it is. Not done with it yet because you got a clamp on there. Still putting this uh, tube to the uh, angle iron here. I got to drill a hole, a couple holes there. So I got one more hole to drill up there in the top. Okay. So that's kind of the idea. Again, this is just doing some tests. It's not going to be the final design. Um, so we're going to run some cable around the, you know, run some cable just around the, the wheel there. You know, I got the cable laying down there. Yeah, so anyway, here we go. Just wanted you guys to see that. And uh, just put a hole there through the angle iron. Okay. And then um, I'm going to put some uh, some um, threaded rod through here to control the, the distance between the, the angle iron here. And the same thing over there between those two tubes. Square tube there. And I might even run some uh, some threaded rod from from here over to the tube, to that tube there, just to keep uh, you know give us some rigidity. Okay, so there it is guys. Uh, I'll let you know once I get some weight up there and rolling it and we'll we'll uh, hopefully get some readings on this. Okay? Later. Thanks for hanging with me.